Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to JP Barbecue. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Today, we're gonna break out the Weber Performer and I got this brand new 22 inch rotisserie kit. What we're gonna do is a boneless Boston butt on it. Doing it JP style, of course. You guys stay tuned, check it out. So here's how we got our Weber uh, Performer set up, guys. I got the two baskets on the side, I lit the, uh, a chimney of charcoal, and I got a, and, and the charcoal that I'm using, let me tell you, I am using cowboy lump charcoal, and lump charcoal seems to be the way to go, you know. I've tried the, you know, charcoal briquettes and stuff like that, but lump charcoal seems to burn longer and it seems to burn hotter. I really like lump charcoal. I'm not telling you to buy this one, you know, buy whichever one you want to get, want to get. But you know, this is what I'm using. I'm using cowboy lump charcoal. Uh, in addition, I use these. Uh, had to run out to the store real quick, and I bought these fire and flavor biomass fire starters. I'm not sure if they're available online, but I just got them at my local grocery store. And for the price, you can beat them. You know, they're just these little cubes. You know, that look like like that, and you just light them up. Put them under the chimney and uh, set the charcoal of chimney uh, of chimney on top of it, and it lits up. Once the charcoal was nice and lit, put it in the two separate baskets, evenly distribute it, and I put a uh, I put the char I put the grate back in, and I put a water pan on the inside because as this uh, Boston butt is going around on the rotisserie, I want I, I don't want that grease to fall down into the bottom of my uh, Weber Performer. The rotisserie itself, the barrel sits on top. It's got two screws that you use to mount uh, where the motor motor goes and and then the spit that goes through it. You know, it's pretty easy setup. Uh, so that's, that's really about it for the charcoal rotisserie. That was a pretty easy setup. Huh? And so far, I'm running at about uh, almost 450, 450 degrees with those two baskets of charcoal over on the side. So what's next? I got to get this Boston butt seasoned up, get it on the spit, get it in there, and uh, hopefully we have us a nice meal this afternoon. So I got this boneless Boston butt over at my local local butcher, and uh, it came already trussed up with, with three twines of truss. And, it, and, and all I'm going to do with it is maybe put one more truss on it right here because it looks like this uh, back end didn't get enough of a, of a truss. So I'm going to put another piece of twine in there. That way it doesn't come undone uh, on me. So we'll put that. Oh yeah, that's, a, that's probably going to be a little better now that I see it like that. So we'll get that tied up nice and tight. We'll get that excess twine just cut off. What we're gonna use, we're gonna use AP Sexy Chicken on it. And the reason we're using that because it's got rosemary and rosemary goes good uh, with pork. But first thing we gotta do is get it lathered up with a little bit of olive oil. Using some olive oil. They still left the fat cap over on this back side, so that's that's really nice. So I'm excited to see how, how this is gonna come out. Here we go. Let's get it seasoned up, guys. And we're just gonna sprinkle some of our sexy chicken on here, pat it in as we're going along. There we go. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Get it over on this side. Try to get it on all the sides. There we go. Oh man, that looks nice right there. You guys see that layer of fat? Ooh, baby, that's gonna be good. So, get that right there. Get it on the ends. Gonna get some nice color. There we go. And uh, maybe put some on the skin as well. That way that skin gives that nice little golden color. So put some over that in. So that's really about it. Gonna let that bad boy sit right there for just a little bit. Let it sweat. 
and uh, get this get the spick in it put it inside the little tissue go ahead and get this bad boy inside the, the weapon performer try to hit dead center mass there we go and just wait for it on this this end right here there we go it comes out get this side poked in and then we're going to get this other side what we want to do we want to hold it nice and steady getting it tightened down and she's ready to put in let's put her in i got my motor already mounted wow and we are running oh man it's almost at 500 degrees let's go ahead and get this bad boy put in there it is and get that motor started i think pork you probably want to take pork to like 160 between 165 and 175 you know i'll double check but let me go ahead and get this cover put back on and there she is close this vent just a little bit and it'll be just a matter of time and we'll see what this uh boston butt roast comes out like on this uh weber performer with this rotisserie kit hey guys it's time to take a look see at this uh boneless boston butt on this rotisserie and see what it's all about let me go ahead and shut this off we're going to take an internal temperature we're trying to get up there as close as we can to about 190 okay uh, you know the usda says that 145 is good for pork but if you if you want that fat to render down the only time that happens is getting it to about 190 you know to the into the 200s so let's take a look look at it and that's the way we like to eat our ooh, man let me turn this sucker a little bit so you guys can see it all the way around man that is uh good looking we're gonna take us a reading right about right here let's turn that off and we're gonna see what it says oh yeah and it's tender <laughs> that probe just went whew, it just sunk in there and i'm hitting about 186 187 it's slowly climbing up there let's see what it's like over here. oh yeah this is like super tender 186 188 okay let me get me another reading it is it's done guys 195 i don't know if you guys can see that right there try not to hit the metal yeah it's close enough guys we're gonna call it done let's get it out of there and we're gonna let this uh boston butt rest you know for about 15 minutes let's go ahead and get it out well i think actually first i'm gonna go ahead and loosen these things right here there we go loosen that one let me get it off oh yes sir look at that man that is gorgeous don't that look good? Yes, sir. Let me show it to you on this side. That is a good looking roast. And that thing is still hot. Let's go ahead and uh, take this part off. Oh, man. Hot, hot. We'll put that right there. And uh, just. Oh, yeah. It's falling apart right here. Look at that little piece of meat just fell off of it. I would try it, but it's probably very very hot so i got an onion in here a couple pieces of corn that we're gonna dress it up for right now we gotta let this uh boston butt rest a little bit i'm just gonna cover it up with a little piece of aluminum not too much because you still want it to breathe some put my pliers over here and we'll close this up Got some corn on the cob. Got an onion wrapped in aluminum and it's just, you know, it's kind of like sauteing an onion inside of a piece of aluminum. So we're gonna get this over here on the prepping table. We're gonna get ready to slice this bad boy up and dress this up a plate. Hey guys, this pork roast is done. Had it in the Weber Performer with that rotisserie kit and it came out spectacular. Let me show it to you. 
Look at this. Isn't that a beauty right there? Let's go ahead and cut into it and dish this up a plate. So I'm gonna cut this twine right here. Take that off. And we'll cut us a slice. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that guys. Oh my goodness. Is that a good piece of pork or what? I'm gonna get me another little slice out of it. Here we go. It is, it is nice and tender. Just look at that. Oh my gosh, that is a gorgeous piece of pork. I think I'm gonna dress this up over here a little bit. Take this little piece off the end. Got nice and crunchy. And that's going to be my taste test. Put that right there. And there we go. Let me cover it back up so we can uh, not lose any heat. But here we go. Look at this beautiful plate. Got me some mac and cheese, some sauteed onions in that aluminum, corn on the cob with this Boston butt. It's time to give it a taste test to see what it's all about. Ooh, yes, sir. That is nice and tender. Look at this piece. Oh my gosh, it just, the fork just goes right through it. Look at that. That is a gorgeous piece of pork. Let's give it a try, guys. Oh my God. Woo! Man. Oh, there's the crunchiness. I love it. Oh my God. The Weber Performer accompanied with the rotisserie, get you a Boston butt, a little bit of olive oil uh, sprinkled on it, season it with some uh, sexy chicken. The people in your household are gonna love you. This is a fantastic dish, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to sink my teeth in this corn, that mac and cheese. Really, really good. But anyhow, guys, I want to say thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching my video. I uh, want to thank my viewers and my subscribers. And I most definitely uh, want to thank my Patreons. Patreons are the ones that help support this channel. Uh, and, and, and my viewers do too. My viewers, you know, I really appreciate them watching. You know, and my Patreons are the ones that help support it financially. Uh, ways that you can help support this channel buy my products uh, jp-bbq.com is where I sell all my barbecue products that help support this channel uh, I'll put a link right here and it'll pop up right there as well you know and it'll take you straight to my website also uh, my patreon page if you're interested in becoming a patreon go out there and visit it okay and help support this channel if you like if you wish to but besides that guys I want to thank my patreons I got Ben Lee, Maria Balderas, Sam Santos, Leticia Vallejo, Billy Walsh, and Brian Gutierrez. You guys come on board. Join the channel. I'll get your name shouted out and uh, make you famous. But besides that, guys, I appreciate you guys very much. I will see you guys on the next cookout. I love y'all. Y'all take care.